Happy Thumper Thursday! Today we're going to read a nonfiction book called Animal Armor. It's a Nat Geo book because um, I know some of my first grade friends love animal books and so this is a cool book with some cool photographs. Animal Armor by Laura Marsh and on the front we have a pangolin and then on the title page a snake. Not one of my favorite animals so we're gonna flip the page quickly. There's a table of contents in this book that tells us all about what the book is going to tell us about and what pages that will be on. So if you want to read about a cover of armor, it's on page four. Or six cool facts about animal armor, that's page 18. I see a heading, a cover of armor. These lions are hungry. They want to eat this porcupine, but they know to be aware the porcupine has body armor. Here comes this main idea of the book. Some animals have spines, others have hard shells, and some have thick, bumpy skin. Body armor helps keep animals safe. So we're going to learn about some of the ways animals keep themselves safe with their body armor. See another heading? Touch your head if you do. Sharp spines. Ooh, look at these creatures. Would you want to touch these animals? What do you think? Probably not. Each spine is sharp and pointy. Spines tell a predator to back off. So make a spine, back off. Sharp spines are painful. And I'm going to read you some of the labels and they tell us what the pictures are of. Saddleback moth caterpillar. Wow. The spiny bush cricket and the spiny orb weaver. He's a kind of spider. Oh, here's someone else with spines. Lots of animals have spines. A lionfish has special ones. These spines have venom. If a predator tries to eat the lionfish, venom will enter the predator's skin. Here's the label that tells us that's the lionfish. And then the word venom, which is a key word on this page, is a liquid some animals make that kills or harms other animals. Ooh, I don't think I'd want to meet a lionfish. Hey, that porcupine's back. Stay away from a porcupine. Its sharp spines are called, do you know what they're called? Quills. They shake and rattle when danger is near. Can you do a little shake and rattle like a porcupine? The quills can stick into an enemy. Ouch. And down here you see some real quills. These quills from an old world porcupine have fallen out. And they are not life size. Their quills are not that short. And this is the old world porcupine. You can see their quills are like lots of different colors and they're a little bit striped. And there's a few jokes in this book. What do porcupines say when they hug? Got the answer? They say, ouch! There's another heading. Did you find it right there? Strong shells. A shell is another kind of armor. It protects an animal's soft body. Snails and clams can pull their bodies inside their shells. They can't move quickly, but they can hide. And here's a little caption to tell us more about this photo. When a snail moves, most of its soft body it's, is outside of its shell. You can see that in the picture. It doesn't have much inside the shell. And here's another joke. What is the strongest animal? What do you think? It's a snail. It carries its house on its back. It must be really strong if it can do that. Oh, somebody else with the shell. Were you thinking of this animal? Many turtles can do this too. They pull their legs and heads inside. A turtle has an upper shell and a lower shell. Both shells are hard and they will grow with the turtle. The turtle's body is attached to the shell. And here's two labels to tell us. This is a western pond turtle and this is a red-eared slider turtle. And you can see he's kind of got red on the side of his head. Not really his ears, but... We see these a lot in Maryland. And this was a fun fact I didn't know. Did you know a turtle can feel when its shell is touched? So if I touch a shell, it feels that. Other animals have a hard covering over their whole body, even their legs. And they show you close up here what all of these are on the beach. And these are Christmas Island red crabs. And this is a damselfly right here. And it says, this kind of shell doesn't grow. When the animal grows, its shell gets too small. 
and the animal sheds the old shell and then it makes a new one. This is called molting. And you can see here, here's the old shell of the damselfly that's climbed out. The damselfly sheds its old shell. Here come those six cool facts that we saw in the table of contents. Number one. Many people think that porcupines shoot their quills. They don't. Some porcupines have quills that come off when a predator touches them. Number two, a puffer fish has spines that lie flat, but it can swallow water to make its spines stick out. Number three, many animals with body armor move slowly. The armor protects them when they can't get away from predators, like snails and turtles. Number four, all birds have scales. Did you know that? On their toes. And this picture shows an eagle's toes. Scales on their toes. A giant clam can be four feet long and weigh as much as three adult men, up to 500 pounds. That's how big that clam is. And number six, back, a hedgehog has spines on its head and its back. When it rolls into a ball, its soft face and belly stay safe from predators. How cute is that little guy? So cute. I spy a heading. Do you spy a heading? Right there, it's purple. Super scales. There's also a label right here that tells me this is a marine iguana. And this is a king snake. Not my favorite. When you think about reptiles, do you think of scales? Scales are small, hard plates on the skin. Lizards, crocodiles, turtles, and snakes have them. Scales protect their skin. I think I look at the pictures on this page. <clears throat> Reptiles aren't the only animals with scales. Fish and a few mammals have them too. And the label tells us these are white grunt fish. Here's the question joke. Why is a fish easy to weigh? Why is a fish easy to weigh? Hmm. Because it has its own scales. And some of my friends know this creature. This is a pangolin. The label tells me that. The pangolin is a mammal with thick, sharp scales. It can roll into a ball. This makes it hard for predators to eat. And so this creature here is down here, rolled up into a ball. And it says a pangolin rolls into a ball for protection. That's pretty cool. You remember we once watched a video of one rolling up. Pillion's here, roaming around. You might see him on the camera in a minute. Still talking about scales. Scales don't only make the skin tough, they also keep an animal from drying out. This is the frilled lizard. You can see his scales all over. And he has like a kind of a frill around his neck. In hot areas, water is hard to find, and animals with scales need less water to live. And this is the thorny dragon. So it keeps them safe, scales keep them safe, by protecting them from losing water. So if they lost water, they would get sick. Ooh, there's some camouflage going on in this page. Look in the pictures and see if you see any creatures hiding. We'll look at this one first. See anybody here? It says in the label, there's a green crested lizard. I'll give you a minute to look, and then I'll point him out. You see him here? He does really blend in nicely. Scales have color. They form patterns too. This helps an animal hide from its enemies. Can you find the animals hiding here? Up here, it says there's a leaf chameleon hiding. Do you see him anywhere? There's his nose, there's his mouth, there's his eye, and there's his back and his tail. And then here is the great rockfish, and his colors really blend in with the rocks of the ocean on the ocean floor. Do you see him? There's his eye right there. There's the great rockfish. And then the end of our book has, for, like I say, for dessert, a glossary with pictures. And it has the word mammal, predator, reptile, and venom if you didn't know those words. And that is the end of our book called Animal Armor. I hope you enjoyed it. Today is a mismatch day, so I hope you are mis mixing and matching your stripes and polka dots. I have uh, polka dots here and stripes, ladybug polka dots and stripes. Uh, I miss you all. I hope to uh, see you soon. 
and I look forward to reading you another book tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.